setting sweetly on the century And Jesus, you're the man I want to be Cause I've met a man who is listening And I guess that that's a good place to begin you know, keeping our students involved spiritually is, is very important to us. I think when you're in your teenage years, um, you know, you have a lot of questions. This becomes a training ground that we can help them to learn to talk or learn to share their faith or learn to think about their faith. As far as like growing spiritually, I think it kind of just happens in classes where you'll just have those rare moments that, you know, a teacher will just kind of say something. And like just this awesome class called Experience in Jesus. We like answer questions that, you know, that always been in your mind. You know, who am I to say that I can help kids experience Jesus, um, except that I need to experience him myself. When it all comes down to it, it's, it's probably not our 28 fundamental beliefs that they're going to be uh, remembering. It's going to be the fact that, oh, this, this teacher cared for me and accepted me. I've probably gotten the most out of gymnastics. Like we did a show, a gymnastics show in the mall one time and we got to talk to people about our faith, why we were there, what we were doing. I guess ever since the evangelistic series last year, I really got on fire. It wasn't really that much different from most evangelistic series, except for students let out in it. And I've discovered that the spiritual aspect helps to um, encourage your, it brings out who you are and you don't have to worry about college, you don't have to worry about you know who you're going to date or whatever. You know that God's in control of your life and that you can be yourself because He made you. The academics here at Jim State Academy are extremely important. Yeah, I feel very challenged. Yes, <laughs> especially in math. I'm more of an English person. Our juniors take the PSAT tests and then our seniors are being tested through the SAT and the ACT tests. And most of our students score at or above the national average. And it's not about the information anymore. It's about how to learn, how to think. My philosophy is if I'm going to be bored with it, the students will definitely be bored with it. I like to write some for my senior project and doing like a literary magazine. Just finished memorizing children's stories. So we had to, you know, get into the story. We had to try to make it come to life through our voice, through our actions, you know, props. The other thing that we've uh, incorporated here just over the last year or two is something called mentor groups. And as a mentor, I could help my seven or eight students that I mentor academically. And so if they're struggling, let's say, in maybe a math class, you know, I can say, hey, are you, you know, you need some extra help. I love Mrs. Mitchell because whenever I'm having troubles with a lot of projects, she always notices whenever I'm feeling down. And it's just so rewarding to see that little light bulb change from I can't do this, there's no way I can do this, to showing them, yes, you can. They're interested, they want to know how they can help me understand so I can take the concept and apply it when I go to college or later in life. Trying to uh, match it up with real life is, is very important in our culture. And we have the idea that all of our students are being prepared to go on, but even if they don't go on to university, we still want to give them that strong academic foundation so that when they enter uh, the workforce to obtain employment, that they'll have that strong basis that we've given them here at Jim State. Well, I, I think, you know, as we all know that, that high school and specifically academy, your academy years are so much more than just academics. You can be involved in numerous um, musical groups. For example, you know, there's a choir, there's a band, there's a handbells um, group that performs. Music for me is like the best, like something I'm really good at when I'm not really good at a lot of things. And like, if I could praise God with something I'm really good at then. Tenfold. I love gymnastics a lot. I did it for four years and I've been captain for junior and senior years. There are varsity teams as well as an intramural program where anybody can come out and, and participate. Well, I think here at Gym State, we want every student to feel like they belong. Everybody's personality fits in somewhere in the school. I've been able to be myself, which some people can say is a good thing. Having friends from like public school isn't like it's great and like it's cool and stuff. You have friends. This friends is a bomb. But like having Christian friends, you know, people that can share your faith, share your, share what you're going through. I, I love the dorm. 
you know, like one really, really, really big household. On Friday nights, you know, we have Italian sodas, and Sabbath morning we do breakfast cake. They're our kids, and they're part of our family. The absolute best thing about Gem State are all the friends that I've made and that I want to keep in touch with forever. It's a, a friendship um, that isn't going to just be for the th maybe the three or four years that a student's here. I think it's a friendship that'll continue even after our students graduate. You know, you make a lot more memories. It's not just the schoolwork, but the people, the staff, the activities. I feel like, you know, everything that, you know, I'm becoming is kind of rooted in Gem State.